Hi, I'm Angela Dowd. Today we are going to learn some basics about Moodle, a free and open source course management system. The word Moodle was originally an acronym for Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. As instructors, you can upload syllabi and other class materials to the Moodle course. You can create settings for assignments, organize discussion forums, send emails to the class, and much more. Moodle can be accessed anywhere in the world that you have internet access, so you can work on your new course at home or in the office. When you finish this tutorial, you will know how to log into Moodle, create a profile, add a new course, and create course settings. Your administrator will give you the link to your Moodle site. I'm going to log into the Santa Rosa Junior College's Moodle site. The login is located in the upper right hand corner. You just click on that, you add your username and your password. Click login. The first thing you want to do is set up your profile and to do that you're going to click your name in the upper right hand corner. You're going to fill in your personal information and click save. Then you'll return to the Santa Rosa Junior College Moodle site. We see a My Courses block here. I'm going to select all courses from the bottom. and then add a new course. This takes us to a template that displays our new course. As a new Moodle user, when creating settings for your course, you'll leave some of the settings as default settings until you become more familiar with Moodle's functions. Choose the correct category when available. Put in a full course name. We'll just put in and a short name. The full course name will appear at the top of your course and the short name will appear as a button to bring students back to your course main page. It will also appear in the navigation bar at the top of the page. You'll put in the course ID number when you have it and then you'll want to add a short summary This summary is just for you. It won't be visible to your users. I'm going to choose the format you want your course to appear in. I'm going to choose the weekly format. There are others, but this is the simplest uh, and organizes your course week by week. Number of weeks, we'll choose 18. The course date is usually the first day of class. As I mentioned previously, you will leave some settings as default settings while you learn more about Moodle. For example, hidden sections, you're going to leave at the default. News items to show, you're going to leave that at the, the default. Gradebook, show activity reports, no, you don't want to do that now because this can put a strain on the server. Maximum upload size, you need maybe about 10 megabytes. Theme, you don't want to force the theme. Is this a meta course? No. Enrollment plugins, we're going to leave that. In groups, we're going to leave that. Onto availability, we're going to leave that at the default. This course is not available to students. Enrollment key, um, this is a one time password given to students. Let's put one in. Language, we don't want to force the language. Um, if you force a language in a course, the interface of Moodle in this course will be uh, in this particular language, even if the student has selected a different preferred language in his or her personal profile. Role naming, you can rename the roles uh, in your course, but for now, just put yourself in as admin, instructor, and creator. and then save your changes. 
This brings you to the locally assigned roles page. So you're going to go down and you're going to click here at the bottom to enter your course. Locate the administration panel at the bottom left of the course. Here you can turn editing on, change your settings, assign roles and grades and groups. This is your panel, your administration panel. In the top right corner, just under the login, is your Turn Editing On button. Select this button to enable editing. You can also turn it on in the Admin panel. The editing icon looks like a pencil. This is the editing icon right here. In, in this area here is the place where you would add your course introduction. It's called Week Zero. You click on the editing icon and you get a space to enter a summary of week zero. I've added a quick summary here. Uh, this is an HTML editor, so you can change the font if you want. Change the size. You can make it bold. You can change the color. This will be seen on your page by your learners. So when you're finished, just save changes. Then you can see how it looks. To turn editing off, you can click up here on this button here, or you can turn it off here in the administration settings. You might want to check your course settings one more time. You should have your IED number in there when it's finished. Then, when you're ready to release it, then you're going to make it available to students, otherwise they will not be able to see it. Then you're going to save changes. You'll notice the course title is shown in the left-hand side. In the top right corner, you'll see your username. When you're finished, save your work and use the logout section next to your name to log out of Moodle. Moodle is a great tool and there are a lot of resources to help you to use it. I hope that this little tutorial has been helpful to you and that you now know how to log into Moodle and create a profile and add a new course and create course settings. There's a lot more to learn and I'm sure you will enjoy learning it. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll watch the next tutorial that I'll be making and also visit the Moodle community for extra help. Thank you very much.